Hello, I'm Lee Barnes and I work for Name Studio in Leeds. Uh, now then, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use InDesign's Paste Into feature. Um, the example I'll be using is just kind of comping together a bit of a notice board kind of graphic. Now the first thing you want to do is just place in a background image which will act as just as a background image but it will also become the frame in which you paste multiple images into. So if you go to file and place there, we're going to place in this cork board image here. Just drag out that shape to a size that you're happy with. I'm going to go for a square. Let's drag that out. Great stuff. Now you can place just square boxes or anything like that. I'm going to paste them in equal sizes. But again, it doesn't really matter. Right, so I've got my three post-it notes. I want to make them a bit bigger, really. What we want to achieve is to have these post-it notes overlapping the edges of the master graphic that we've set up. That looks about right to me. I'm just going to play around with these to get a layout that I'm happy with. Making sure that some of the edges of the smaller images overlap the edge of the larger background image. Now to use the feature, it doesn't have to overlap the actual edge of this bounding box here for your background image, but just for the purposes of this tutorial we're doing it so that it shows the effect and you understand how you can use it. Great. So I'm happy with that. Now what I want to do is copy the three smaller images that eventually I'll be pasting into the larger image. So if you select all of those with your selection tool Make sure you've got all those three boxes. What you want to do is group those images by going to Object and Group. Shortcut is Apple and G. And you can see the selection has been grouped as one. So make sure that you're happy with the position of that graphic, which I am. And then what you want to do is actually copy it. It'll actually copy it as it is as a group, but it'll also copy it in the position that it was last in. So when you come to paste it into your master background shape, um, it'll also be pasted in that exact place that you copied it in, which is quite handy for other functions um, such as kind of placing into things over multiple boxes and so on and so on. But I'll let you discover that for yourselves. For now, just copy your group and then feel free to delete it. Next, what you want to do is just drag out a frame, a blank frame, over the top of your background image to the same size. Once you've got that, make sure it's selected um, with three smaller frames pasted into it in the exact same position as they were when they were copied. What that allows us then to do is to edit those three boxes as one shape. So if we wanted to crop it to a new shape, obviously you can crop the background image as well to match that, but it's editable as one. So we'll just drag that back out. Now, it's all well and good having that as one shape, but if you wanted to edit it, what do you do? Well, I'll just drag it off here so you can see. If you're within the master frame, or if we decided that we wanted to move that white post-it note, double click again within that group over the white post-it note area and it'll select that one. And you can simply just drag that, rotate it, resize it, it's different ways of using it which will streamline your workflow. 
So thanks very much for listening and hope you enjoyed it. Hello, I'm Lee Barnes and I work at Name Studio in Leeds. Now then, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use InDesign's paste into function. It's a handy little function to speed up your workflow in many ways. Um, the way I'll be using it is to show you how to sort of crop multiple images um, by placing them all into one frame. So the first step is to go and place in a background image that will eventually become the frame to which the three smaller images that we're going to place are cropped into. So I'll do that by going to File and Place, Apple and D is a shortcut. Get our image of the cork board there. And just drag that out. Great stuff. Once you're happy with that, then you need to place three other images. Now they can be anything you want. This doesn't have to be a cork board, it could just be a big black um, background square and then red, yellow and green box. Something as simple as that. So, oops. place your three post-it notes or whatever's is to place them so that the edges of each of the three are overlapping one or more edges of the larger background image. I'll show you that now. I'm just going to play around with it and the final one overlapping the bottom. Almost. Super. Right, I'm not going to be too precious about that. What I'm then going to do is select all three of those smaller images and group them by going to Object and Group. As you can see, the selection's changed there, and it's grouped those as one. I can move them around, and there as one. Once you're happy with the positioning of these, you're happy that we've got some overlap going on there, copy it, edit and copy, if you don't know the shortcut, and then you can actually just delete it and leave it in the memory of your computer. What you need to do next is actually place a rectangle frame, a blank rectangle frame, preferably, um, exactly the same size as your background image and over the top of it. You can't see that unless we've got it selected but it is there. And then we're going to paste the three images that we've grouped into that shape as one. So to do that go to edit and paste into and there you go. You pasted the three into the one bounding box or the one frame that houses all three. Now the great thing about that is you can then edit that as one cropped image. So you can drag and change the orient. Notice as well it's actually pasted the three into the box um, in the exact same position in which they were copied on the page which is really handy because um, that comes in use for other sort of functions and uh, layouts in your designs so I'll let you work out other uses of that for yourselves but it does come in very handy if you remember that you can use it um, I'm sure it will come in. Now then you've still got this as one object but the great thing about it is you're able to go into this object and edit the so it selected that group that we pasted in. You can then move that around as one within that frame like so, or if you wanted to edit the position of one of the specific items within it, such as say if we wanted to move this white post-it note here, we would double click into the master frame that crops it up to select the group, and then to select the white post-it note, double click again over the white post-it note area. So here, if you wanted to edit the yellow one, you click here, pink one here, and there you can see the layering. And that's a